Do you want to learn how to have a custom boot animation on your Xiaomi Poco F1? That's what we're going to do in this video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install a custom boot animation on your Xiaomi Poco F1 running MIUI 10. As you can see, right now I have the stock boot animation which says Poco Phone by Xiaomi and powered by Android. However, once we're done with this video, you will have a custom boot animation on your Xiaomi Poco F1. What are the things which you need? Well, for starters, you need to be rooted using Magisk and then you need to have an application called FX file explorer and you need a custom boot animation for your Xiaomi Poco F1. Do note we need a 1080p boot animation for the Xiaomi Poco F1. You get two different type of boot animation zip files over the internet. One which is flashable via twerp recovery and one which you have to place in a specific folder manually. Because we're doing this on MIUI, the twerp flashable zip file will flash into a recovery but it will not work properly because the location of boot animation is different in MIUI and we will figure that out as we go ahead in this video. Let me first go into settings about phone and as you can see right now I am running MIUI 10 global stable 10.2.3.0 and I will be using a boot animation which I downloaded from the internet which is the matrix boot animation i did not create this boot animation so all credit goes to the original author in case you get a boot animation which is flashable via twerp recovery for example this guy over here top secret 1080p is the boot animation which you can flash via twerp recovery but it will not work on the poco f1 like i said earlier so in that case you need to extract this guy so click on this guy click on extract files too and then click on extract once they are finished extracting, you will have a new folder with the same name. So top secret, click on this guy, go into system, go into media. And this is your boot animation zip file which you are looking for. However, if you have a boot animation which is not to a recovery flashable like I have one, which is this guy over here, matrix boot animation dot zip, then you do not need to extract this zip file. I will have a link to few XDA threads in the description of this video wherein you can find 1080p boot animation zip files. Once you've downloaded the boot animation zip file of your choice and extracted it, depending on the fact whether it is a twerp flashable boot animation or not, you need to open FX File Explorer, click on the three bar menu on the top left, click on settings, scroll down and look for developer slash root, this guy over here, then click on enable, make sure you click on I understand the risk and this option is checked, then you click on OK. Click on the back button, you will have a new option called system in brackets root. Click on this guy, click on OK. You should get a magisk pop-up to allow root access. However, if you don't get it, no need to worry. Click on the home button, open magisk manager one more time. Then click on the home button, click on FX one more time. And bam, there we have it, pop-up in the building. Click on grant. And now we have successfully granted root access to FX file explorer. Next, you need to click on the lock button on the top, this guy over here. So we will click on this guy and then check mark I understand the risk and then click on OK. The lock now changed to unlock. Once this is done, you need to navigate to the folder where you have placed your boot animation. In my case, it is in the SD card folder. So I will scroll down, click on SD card. There we have it the matrix boot animation which I was talking about press and hold and then you need to click on copy on the top of your screen right below the notch click on copy you will get a new notification telling you that you have one file copied to the clipboard now we will click on the back button and we are back in system in brackets root and make sure this option is unchecked or the lock is unlocked you need to scroll down look for system once you are in system, you will notice that the lock is locked again. So we will click on this guy one more time to unlock it. Check mark, I understand the risk and then click on OK. The lock changed to unlock. 
now we need to go into the media folder you will see a boot animation.zip file but this is not the place where we need to paste our file you need to go into theme then you need to go into cast config and over here you will see two folders global and india let us first go inside global you have a boot animation.zip file over here let's go back go into india you have a boot animation.zip file over here as well let's go back to the main screen where we have global and india now if your existing boot animation shows poco phone then you need to go inside the global folder if your existing boot animation shows poco then you need to go inside the india folder however if you do not remember or you already have a custom boot animation and you do not know which boot animation.zip file to change you can change it in both places without any ill effects so in my case it is showing poco phone so i will go into the global folder click on clipboard and then i will click on paste at the bottom so now my matrix boot animation.zip file was pasted successfully what i need to do next is i will click on this guy press and hold on boot animation.zip make sure it is selected because it is highlighted means it is selected click on the three dot menu on the top right and then click on security so now you will see the permissions of this file you will see that you have three greens and one brown or how i remember is that it is octal 644 so we will click on ok then we will press and hold our new boot animation zip file in this case the matrix boot animation dot zip click on the three dot menu on the top right click on security and as you can see the octal is 660 but we need it to be 664 so we will uncheck this guy check over here three greens one brown on top so root is read and write group is read only and global is read only octal is 644 click on ok click on ok one more time and now a permission for the new boot animation zip file is changed to 644 next thing we need to do is we will rename our zip files so we will rename the existing boot animation dot zip press and hold three dot menu on the top right click on rename and we will rename it to boot animation dot zip dot bak and then click on ok the name just changed to boot animation dot zip dot bak we are doing this just in case you want to go back to your original boot animation you can come back here rename this guy to boot animation dot zip and the other one to boot animation dot zip dot bak or just go ahead and delete it this is our new boot animation which we want to be our current boot animation press and hold this guy three dot menu on the top right click on rename and you need to name it to boot animation dot zip so we named it to boot animation dot zip and then click on ok so now this is our new boot animation again let me just go back if you have your current boot animation as poco then you need to make these changes inside the india folder for me it was poco phone so i am doing it inside the global folder if you are not sure you can go ahead and make these changes inside both of these folders there will be no side effects or ill effects of doing it once that is done all you need to do is go ahead and reboot your poco f1 and hope you have the new boot animation just kidding with you you will of course have the boot animation if you followed the instructions and bam there we have it matrix boot animation in the building working like a champ on a xiaomi poco f1 that's it for this video peeps i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you